Queen of San Joaquin here for another exciting episode of Moccasin Assembly. Um, so, day before yesterday, we assembled the toe, uh, vamp is what it's called, the vamp piece. And today I'm going to be doing the heel, or assembling the heel piece. And, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, oh, and answering any questions any of you may have, uh, if anybody joins me this time. So, I just wanted to, uh, I dug this out. I want to show you, I am using a pattern, which is from Tandy Leather, and it's the Moccasin, uh, pattern pack. It has the Inca boot and the Scout Mock. And if I do say so myself, the people did a crappy job putting these together on this, which I was really surprised. None of the puckers are even. I mean, this one looks so bad. Like, look at look at that. I mean, what were they doing? They, I don't know. Not a very good way to uh, advertise your, you know, product. Anyway, so let's get right into this. And like I said, please feel free uh, to ask any questions you may have about anything, even if it's not what I'm doing. Um, it looks like I've got one person watching me. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Like I said, please comment. It makes me feel better. I just feel like I'm doing something. Well, anyway. Alright, so... Here's your heel piece. Now what's confusing about this pattern is the sole and the vamp both have diamond uh, uh, notches. Um, since I punched my own leather, I don't actually, you, you know, they're not diamond shaped. I use, cause I use a round punch. So I mark them, I can see, well, I mark them with like a little arrow. Sometimes I use string if I don't want to mark up the leather. And that marks where my joining uh, punch hole is. So, what's confusing though is this does not even have a diamond hole on the pattern itself. But it's kind of easy because the last corner hole right here is your uh, diamond uh, adjoining piece. So I marked it with a little arrow and so what we're gonna do is keep going with our thread. I didn't thread this yet because I'm just I you know it should be pretty self-explanatory about how to thread it so I'm just gonna go through and do the puckers as I go. So what you're going to do is take your corner, the very, you know, corner hole there and align it. And remember, whoops, remember the last time I, I told you that I stopped right before the diamond hole on this piece and that was because I didn't want to deal with the hill um, getting in the way. So I do the toe first, then I do the heel, then I do the fringe. It just seems easier that way, but you can do it however you want. So, you're going to slip the heel piece. Wow, my neighbor's getting pretty crazy with their car over there. I don't know if you could hear that. Um, so I'm going to slip the heel piece. Oh, Jesus. This is so weird trying to do this by myself. I wish I had some help. Slip the heel piece. It's going to go in between the vamp and the sole. And you're going to align that hole as best you can with the hole on the vamp as well. Alright, so, so we're going to go through the top piece here and just go through the vamp like we would normally, only this time we're going to put it through the uh, marked hole on the on the on the heel, 
and then we're gonna go through oh my lord it's hard to show you while I'm doing it and holding it and everything okay so through that marked hole and then through the sole so everything and it's windy my leather is flying away uh, so everything I'm sorry let me let me thread this real fast and then I'll come back and show you what I did okay so now I've got it coming through the top down and then into the heel piece here and then coming out on the diamond hole so now since there is no other um, hole over here you're just gonna go through this hole and then complete the next stitch if that makes sense do not you know do not go up do not go through this hole so we've got that one stitch go back through so God dang it's windy so now you're gonna go back through babe Jeff Shannon says where is my pair well I'm I have to trace your foot first so I can't make you a pair until I get your foot traced so you're gonna have to come on over here are you going to come over tonight and I'll trace your foot? <laughs> okay. So let's just keep going with this. By the way, you can go on my Etsy and um, I'll have those probably posted by tonight. And it's $150 a pair. So, yeah. Check that out. Okay. So, now we're going to go back through the top. So, like I said, don't go through this hole. Just go through this hole. And, boy, this is complicated trying to do this like this. All right. You see what I've done here is I've skipped and just gone through. Now the next hole you're gonna want to do like is up here. So I think ah yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the top. It's hard to lose your, uh, it, it's really hard, you, you lose your stitching at this point sometimes. It's, it's kind of complicated and annoying. A lot of people at that part are like, what? And I, I even put one together wrong, so don't feel bad. If you get it wrong the first time, you can always go back and fix it. Okay, so all right. So now let's recap a little bit here because like I said this can get a little complicated. So if I can show you, hopefully it it works here. This is the diamond hole. Jeez, can you see it? Okay, that's the that's the diamond hole right there. And like I said, you go through the bottom uh, hole that's on the heel, but don't go... Oh man, that's... Flying up and... Okay. 
Okay, so you go through the bottom hole, not the top hole, go back around, then you go through the next hole, and back through the vamp, back through the heel, and out the sole. And then you just continue along the entirety of the heel, and yeah, you should be good. Like I said, if that doesn't make sense, ask me, you know, you can comment, and... I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. So we're just going to go through. Oh, tiny. A cat doesn't doesn't uh, respect what I'm doing here. Why'd you do that, Tyne? So once you get past this part where you're joining the two or the three pieces, it, it's actually pretty easy. It just kind of it's a little confusing if you've never done it. So I'm just keeping on, keeping on here. Okay, back around. All right, now I am past the heel. Adjoining the heel. Oh, I'm regretting. I like this cotton cord, but I am seriously regretting getting it right now because it just twists up. I hate it for that. You gotta every once in a while go out and turn it around and straighten it out, but then a couple stitches later, it's all screwed up again. So. All right, so now we're just into the part that is just adjoining the heel and the the heel and the and the sole. I said, really regretting this cotton cord right now. It's pissing me off, making me upset. Why, cotton cord? Why do you do this to me? Oh my lord. Did that really happen? Okay. Alright, so... <clears throat> ah! I just want to cross my big old long legs. Okay. Oh, that's such a pain. Okay, so... Again, now before I cinch everything up. Now this is the part where, this is what this looks like. Let me see. You could probably pause it if you wanted to at this point, just to see if you can see how that all goes together. So diamond hole and then, or I'm sorry, the diamond hole it was right there. And then, yeah. So, like I said, if you have any questions, that's what it's supposed to look like. Get a few of the inside, if that, if you can. Alright, so now we just go through and align the holes as best we can. in mind this is one of the harder parts to do this because you're working with three pieces instead of just two so you gotta pull it really tight oh boy so this is taking a minute to get through this one little part and I've actually never really tried to sit here and explain this to someone while filming it, not, I mean, I have, but not, yeah, not while filming. <laughs> so this is, 
this is a little, a little difficult because I have to hold it a different way and everything. So it's it's a little bit trying. Oh boy. Okay. Go real tight. Like I said, not too tight, but tight enough. Okay. Go. We got one big pucker there, so we're gonna have to even this out, same way we did last time. Just holding and pulling together like this, doing your puckers, pulling them out. Might even have to get in there and kind of pull these a little bit tighter because it seems to have loosened up on me because that's what it wants to do. It wants to totally just... Come on, moccasin. Okay. Like I said, every time you work on leather, it gets a little touchy. It's kind of like an experiment. Sometimes it seems like nothing you do wants to work. Don't lose hope. Okay, there we go. Got those about as even as that's going to be for this little funky area right here. So, I think it's a good idea to go through and just stitch the entire thing, then pull it. But, like I said, I'm kind of on a get out of here tater. My cat. Actually, it's my daughter's cat. The Siamese menace. Okay. And you won't have as many, like I said, you won't have as many puckers on the side as you do on the front and the back. So, like I said, if you pull it too tight, it will end up, um, Board. If you pull it too tight, it'll end up making the shoe like very a uh, little bit too small. So I'm gonna do. Is, uh, okay, I'm just gonna go through and stitch this entire thing, and then I'll pull it. Pull it. This is getting getting annoying. I am doing this. So, like I said I'm doing this in case any of you have any questions and also to show you how to join the um, heel and vamp and uh, sole piece. So, Word, okay. Also, when you do this, this is something I learned too. I didn't show you the stitching on the other one. Okay, when you're stitching this, the inside of the moccasin, all the stitches are going to be very, very diagonal. It's almost going to look wrong. You're going to think, oh, it should be straight up and down. But the inside is going to be diagonal very sharply, and the outside is what's going to be almost straight. So if your outside is looking too diagonal, but the inside is looking straight, you're doing it wrong. Just so you know. It's better to find out you're doing it wrong while you're doing it than after you've finished the entire thing and walk around and have pigeon toes like I did in, in uh, previous videos with that one pair I made. Didn't realize it was going to do that and it's because I, I believe it's because I did it from the inside out and I think I skipped a hole and it just, I, I don't know, it all went downhill from there. I'm not, I don't know. So I, I've been doing it a lot different. It's been working out. Okay, so... So this cotton cord, man. I love the look and the strength of it, but good lord, it just won't. Look at this. It's all curly. It won't stay straight. It wants to curl up on me, and it is so annoying. I just can't even. Hey, I said again, very diagonal on the inside. 
I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. I will cinch these. Well, I'm going to line them up. I'm not cinching them. But let's see. Okay. So again with the pucker. There we go. Okay. Like I said, any questions, comments, anything, it's windy. What a day to do a video. Okay, and there we go. Do -do -do. <laughs> this leather is wanting to fight me. Ah. Ah. It's cotton cord. Urgh. Irritating. All right. Every chance it gets, it's just curling up. <laughs> find something better that's strong that way. Okay. So now that I've cinched that, I'm gonna go through and I keep saying cinching, but I just mean tightening. Okay. So we're gonna get in there and pull and make all of our puckers even. All the way back to this point. Okay. At this point, though, you want to pull the puckers a little bit this way and a little bit this way. Because, see how this is doing this? And it, it's got this bend in it. Well, in order for that to straighten out right, um, especially if you're putting a sole on it. But, if you're not putting a sole on it, I wouldn't worry too much because it ends up uh, kind of forming to your foot, tater. Okay, I'm gonna show you tater. Come here, tater. This is my daughter's cat, tater. And he is just playing in my bag with my moccasins, you little bastard, aren't ya? Yeah, but you're so sweet. Oh. Okay, get out of here. I'm trying to do a video. You're not included in the video. If I do a video about cats, you can... Totally come and hang out. Okay. So again, we're just going to keep going with our stitching. Nope, not too tight. I've got to have room to line those up. Yeah, you don't want to do it too tight at first because you won't have room to put your finger in there and you, then you can't see um, what, you know, what you're lining up or anything. And that can become frustrating if you're just starting out I said, when you're just starting out, mistakes are mistakes. Don't get all upset about it, you know, if you can't do it the first time. It just means, you know, you're not, you know, you're not seeing it the way you need to see it. Like, you need to go, you need to regroup, you need to think about it, and then you need to come back and try to finish it. But sometimes, like I said, when I was first starting out, it just, it took a, quite a while to get to where I am. Tater. Um, you know, I had a lot of things I had to redo. A lot of experimentation went into this. It wasn't just, you know, me going, oh, I can make moccasins. It was like, I made one pair, it failed. I made another pair, it failed. You know, I tried to put a sole on with the wrong glue. That failed. You know, but failures, you learn from your failures. Tater, get away from my bags, lady. Ugh. I don't want you getting me all in there. Playing with my string and stuff. I'll just keep going. Make sure you're lining up 
Make sure you're not skipping any stitches or lining anything up wrong. Just slow and steady. And also, these patterns can be easily manipulated if you if you have the know-how. You know, you can. I, I might even do a video about that because I would like to show how you can manipulate a pattern. You don't have to just trace someone's foot and put the holes. I mean, there are videos out there like that, and it works for some people, but it may not work for others. So if you need something like, you know, if you need to work from the pattern, there's ways to widen it. There's ways to shorten it. Um, like if someone has like a duck foot, for instance, where their foot is like very wide at the top and like small heel. I mean, that just sounded weird. I was picturing that. But anyway, you can do that. It just, it takes a little, you got to tweak it a little bit and do it. Okay, so I'm going to... Go in here and lining them up, lining them up, maybe, uh, this leather's wanting to just slip right out of my hand, okay, just lining it up, there's another, So just line it up, line it up, pull it kind of tight, I said not too tight, but not too loose. Okay, that's that. So now we're going to continue on, we'll do our puckering from this, uh, the bend here, outward. Yeah, outward, outward, outward. I so said this leather, man, I don't know. This particular piece on the heel is so smooth, it's like slippery. Very slippery. Kind of annoying me. Let's see. Go out. Go out. 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 And you're just doing this to kind of even out all these puckers because it it looks good and it adds even like an evenness to the piece to the shoe. You know, that way when you actually get it on your foot, everything's going to stretch out, but the puckers are going to be nice and even, and it's going to look good. Alright, so. I mean, you don't have to do them even. You can just slap it together if you'd like. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, except you're going to have an ugly pair of moccasins, and people are like, hey, they don't know what they're doing. They obviously made those by hand. I've had people ask me if I, if I bought mine or made them. When I tell them I made them, they're like, oh my god, how do you do it? And this is how. So, like I said, I've been meaning to do a video like this. I had said before I was going to, and then I got all caught up with what I was doing, and I got a full-time job and at the nursery, and I mean, it was, things were kind of crazy, and I just didn't have time. Sometimes so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Doo -doo. Oh, this cotton thread is awful. It's a love-hate relationship with this cotton thread. Oh yeah, I said I was going to show you what this cotton thread was last time, and I just, I kept going and forgot. This is what it is. It's this. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It just says waxed cotton cord. And 
basically how it comes. It's just this. So that's all there is to it. Just waxed cotton cord. Nothing, nothing fancy. Obviously, because it continues to wa wrap itself around itself. <sighs> right. Let's keep going here. Faster here. We don't have all the time in the world. Well, actually, I guess we do in a way. Get out of here, Tiny. My cats. They love me so much. They they want to be part of the video. That's okay. I love them too. Even though sometimes I get really annoyed with them. But Alright. Okay. Oh no. See? Nobody's perfect. I just skipped a hole. Ah! <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Quick fix. I take this needle off. Come on out of there. I have to go back and fix it, otherwise nothing's gonna line up correctly. Dang! Can't believe I did that. I think it's because I'm just sitting here talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Like I said, I've never done this before on camera for anybody, which is why I didn't want to do it before because I thought, oh, I'm gonna mess up. But then I was like, ah, live stream's cool. People could, you know, uh, log, you know, log in, watch it, and be like, and ask questions. But no one's even watching me right now. So I hope the next live stream I do, which I'm planning on doing this Friday at six again. So. Yeah, dang. I didn't skip any other ones. I, oh, I'm so stupid. Alright. Oh, screwed that up. Okay. Now, this stuff is pretty thick, so. In order to thread your needle, you kind of gotta squish it down. I just use my teeth, squish it down, and stick it through this. I said I'm using a darning needle, so it's a lot less sharp. You won't poke yourself. Okay, I didn't skip. It. Okay, okay, let's just keep going. All right. Stupid. I feel like an idiot. Oh, well, that's okay. Everyone feels like an idiot sometimes. Like I said, nobody's perfect. At least I didn't get all the way around to the front and have to tie it and then realize I did it and have to pull the entire thing out. Um, at least I caught that. I did that. So, well, let's just sit back to continue to sew. Continue to thread. I said if anyone has not I know nobody's watching me right now but if anybody does have any comments later on please feel free to comment you know tell me you know hey that was a that was a great video or wow you didn't teach me anything or you know like like that or I don't know whatever and subscribe for more. You'll get that notification when I do go uh, live. So, okay. All right.
Like I said, just hold it in place. Get those holes lined up. Okay. Okay, now back through. Through and do those. Whoops. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. I said, I almost feel like I should have the camera back behind me. Let me know if that's something I should do because if I feel like you can't see what I'm doing the right way. I'm just sticking the needle down in here and I'm pulling up and I'm just evening out all these puckers. So, like I said, if you can't see it, this isn't helping you. Just be like, hey, queen, stop doing it like that. Again, okay. through and just evening it out. Like I said, from this point, you're going to want to go kind of out and out so you release some pressure from this area so this bend isn't so extreme like that. You don't want it to be like crazy like this. I've had them be like that, so don't do that. All right, let's keep going. Oops, wrong one, okay. Really uneven. Come here. to the end sort of oh boy Goodness, that was so loose okay said if anyone has any comments questions anything at all speak up now I see someone's watching I don't know maybe you don't have any questions it's okay too don't have to have questions. But I see you. I do see you. Okay, so let's keep going here. So I'm almost to that end part where I have to adjoin them on the other side, which is the tricky, tricky deal here. Boy, okay, so I'm almost, I'm almost to the other side. Ah, it's windy! Alright. Oh! Well! The wind knocked, <laughs> knocked over my phone! Ah, stay there! Like an adventure putting these moccasins together. Alright, so let's keep going here. Oh my god! Alright! Well, let me get something to put this down with. 
Jesus. You know what? It's all your fi fault, Tiny, because you put that thing, or you knocked that thing over. I'm just get my other pair and put it in there. There. I've got a weird setup. There's a book. There's an empty box and this other box thing, and like I couldn't get the height right. I don't have a cell phone uh, tripod, so yay. Going. It's, it's like it's already too lined up. Okay. Pucker time. Pucker time. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm just kidding. That's stupid. <sighs> Maybe I'm not kidding. MC Hammer lives in Tracy, which is only, I don't know, what, 40, 30, 40 miles from where I live, which is funny. Like, I could go back, like, hey, sup, MC Hammer? You'd probably be like, who the hell are you? Get off my property, but yeah, you know? I could. It's a possibility. Still one person watching. Well, thank you for watching, whoever you are. Is it Jeff? <laughs> All right, going almost done, sort of. Between this cord and this piece of leather, this is one. Of, this one is more difficult than the other one I did for the same pair. It's, it's really. I said every piece of leather is different. God dang, that's not even. Well, it'll have to work. Okay, just going in there. In. I was gonna title my other video how to pucker so from that how to puck so just keep going this vamp piece is really thick you know and honestly on this pair I should have put a thicker piece of leather for the heel because putting a thick uh, sole and a thin heel piece is kind of a dumb idea. And then, I, I don't know. I just had, this is all I have as far as leather goes, so don't judge me. I would have the same. I, well, I wouldn't. Because the, the sole is almost twice as thick, so I'd have it a little thicker, but you be the judge because when you make your own because hey sometimes it works out fine oh cotton cord I think I end up switching to something else because this is just taking this is taking too much time just to yeah just to do this all right stop it okay annoying me okay now we have four I've gone all the way up until we have four holes left now that is where this heel piece is gonna slip in in between the vamp and the sole so all right let's go back and tighten these if we can okay I kind of did the string a little bit too Oh my god. Like I said, this, this leather I'm working with right now is totally messing up my groove. Part of it's rough. Other part's like too smooth. It just never ends! Alright. This cotton cord's giving me a problem. I'm having a hard time with this one. Like, hey, and I decided to do it live too, so... That's an idea. Then you can see the struggles of a moccasin maker. Now I'm going into like 45 minutes trying to get this together. 
So that's nice too. If anyone actually, like I said, it's like I said, going in there. If anyone actually watches this entire video, I'd be pretty surprised. Oh boy. So I'm trying to get this where you can see it for later, since no one's asking me anything. Maybe I'll just watch it and enjoying it. I don't know. that in there. Okay. All right. Now it is time to join the rest of it and tie it up. Okay, this is kind of hard. Just like the first piece, but this seems to be even harder. Because you're not sure where you're going and where you're coming from. It's, it's kind of weird. So, alright. Just like on the other piece, the other piece you go just through the top hole. Okay, so. I'm going to try to align. Okay, we're going to try to align these best we can and just, okay, align the arrow diamond holes here with the one here and the one on the vamp. So, hmm, which is harder than you think. Okay, so now I'm going to go through this top hole here and I'm going to come out. Okay, I just really want to show this, but I don't know how I'm gonna this is gonna happen. Alright. You're going in through the top here, and you're coming out through this bottom hole in the vamp. Okay, got that? And then you're going to come out and exit in in this hole, which would which is four or three holes away from the diamond hole. Okay, makes sense? All right, let's try it. Going in here, going in, then through. Okay, I'll just have to break this down here. We're going in through that hole. Then we're coming through the vamp bottom hole. No other hole. Coming out. Okay, then you're gonna go through. <laughs> through the heel piece and the next hole on the bottom and then finally Lord through the ah, sole so hopefully I broke that down easy enough for you like I said this part is a little confusing but then you just go to the next next hole on the uh, heel part and again, same thing, and try not to get your cord all tangled up while you're doing this. Like I said, this can be kind of a challenge. It's really annoying. So, okay, go in a hole, ah, on your heel piece. <sighs> but on this one, oh God, I lost my, okay. On this one, since you're going through the top hole, then you are going to go through the top hole on the vamp. Oh lord. I said I've lost my place already. No, no I didn't. Okay. <sighs> Through the top hole on the vamp. If you need to, you got to kind of pull them together to see if you're doing it right. Because now I'm kind of lost my place. So, wait a minute. I came from the top. 
let me tighten this up and see <laughs> see how it, like I said it's very this part is like the hardest part to me is getting these together so let me tighten these and try to line everything up before I keep going and like confuse myself that okay come here come here come here tighten tighten that one and pull this oh my god pull this through okay and tighten that Back on this. All right. Let me pull that out. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. Jesus. All right. There. There's that. Lining up with this. So this is the most annoying part of the entire thing. Because it doesn't always want to line up. Really got that tight. All right, now let me do that so it lines up a little bit better. All right, you, you finicky pair of moccasins. God, this one, man, this one just I put a lot into this. All right. Mm, oh my God. Okay. Got my thread tangled okay there now that's why that was not happening isn't it okay oh my lord it's this cotton cord don't buy it I don't care how tempting it looks just don't buy it it is tangled up inside the moccasin just my lord all right there. Okay. Now I can start from where I was supposed to start, not where it decided to take me there. Okay. So now we're going through this top hole. Diagonally down. Into the next. Oh my god. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Got it. I said this is gonna be this is gonna be the difficult part for anybody doing anything. They're gonna be like, oh my god, these holes. Oh my god, I can't even see where that's supposed to go in. My lord. Alright. I don't feel like I should have cinched this before I God get in there almost impossible at this point with it cinched so don't do that do it loose and then <laughs> cinch it. I had to though because I couldn't tell where this was supposed to line up so again it's an experiment okay now I'm gonna go in through the top here this you almost have to just hold this and pull it through then pull it through the other two pieces I can't like actually do it so see look at this see how that stuff it just ooh. starting to get a little frustrated right now because it isn't working oh my god okay there we go down through there through the bottom hole and through this hole I said this is a little and this cotton cord ain't helping can't you just help me out cotton cotton cord can't you just be a pal <sighs> apparently not And at this point, it's hard actually to get 
things in there the way you need them to be. All right, final hole. There we go. Curse the cotton cord. You're the worst thing I've ever worked with ever. I would have been better off using dental floss, feels like. At least it wouldn't get all, I don't know, like funky. I'm going into almost an hour. I was gonna I'm gonna stop in an hour, so hopefully I can get this done. I won't have it probably completely cinched, but that's okay. Mm, gotta pull this out. My lord. just gets harder and harder. Like I said, it, it's kind of hard to line this up, so, all right, one more. You cotton cord, you're the devil. All right, here we go. I haven't cinched these completely, but I think I think these. I think you kind of get the gist now, right? I mean, what you're supposed to do. So, like I said, these insides are just. This is irritating me. Why? Why are you so difficult right now? You know, the other pair was hella easy, like, to do. Like, hella easy. Now I get to this one, and it's like the devil. Like, and it's like, oh, this happens to be the one I'm trying to do on a live stream. It's like, wow, okay, you stupid thing. No wonder people don't do leather working live streams. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know of any. Nobody knows of any. That'd be cool. All right. More and go and we're gonna do this last minute and a little puckering. Okay. continue to go around the edge and do that but um as far as this goes we're done you just need to tie it off on the inside I like to tie about three really nice tight knots in there um and then yeah you're done so thanks for watching um you know I've, like I said, I'll, I'll link my Etsy. I'm still trying to get everything set up. I'm not like 100% on it yet. So I will link it though for, for later on if anybody wants to uh, check that out. I sell these for $150 a pair. I also offer, offer the option of having a Vibram sole. And I also offer a customized, um, you know, I can pretty much do any color you want. Um, you know, but I do need a tracing of your foot if you want it to be custom and not from the pattern. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, Queen of San Joaquin signing out. A like and subscribe or be a free spirit. Don't do anything. Go to the next video. Bye.